so good morning class 8 how are you all fine i hope that your sunday was quite well you have enjoyed a lot and of course you have studied well and you have must have completed your pending work so now as you have told that ma'am let us revise adverb and adverbials you have confusion in this type of in this topic so today we are going to start with adverbs okay so what is an adverb okay suppose i write down he dance gracefully he walks fast so now in these cases these words which are used okay they are adding on some more meaning okay they are adding on some more meaning to these verbs or these apples are or write down in this manner he was in quite hurry so this is an adverb also okay again this is an adverb so what is adverb adverbs they are the words which add on meaning not in the verbs but they add on meaning in adverbs also as well as in adjective okay it means they will qualify they will qualify either a verb adverb or adjective these are called as adverbs add plus verb okay add plus verb means they add on something to verb mainly but it is not only in case of verbs they are adding they are also adding to adverb also like this example i have given or to some sometimes it is also adding to that of adjective okay so these are called as adverbs so now what are different kind of adverbs who will raise up the hand yes who will tell me what are different kind of adverbs yes rhythm you can speak now yes adverb of place one minute let me write down side by side okay ma'am adverb of place is right adverb of time adverb of time adverb of uh adverb manner of manner hmm adverb of degree adverb of purpose then degree purpose or purpose we will then degree purpose, this is not of your level degree adverb of frequency 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 Ma'am, you one is there. Ma'am, verb of concession, modality. comparison, modality. Comparison is also there. Okay, comparison is also there, and sometimes we have adverb of concession also, right? So these are different kind of adverbs. So first of all, adverb of place. What they tell us? What adverb of place they tell us? Adverb of place tell us that. where the action has taken place for example here there upside inside okay right so adverb will be a single word okay so when we will have adverbials then you will remember that adverbials they are group of words they are not single words when they are not single words they are performing the work of an adverb then they are called as adverbials right so any student want to speak yes kritika you can speak also right okay so next is adverb of time adverb of time they tell us the time when the action has taken place for example early late okay they will tell what they will tell us they will tell us the time of action recently now then okay next is adverb of manner 
Okay, they tell us about time. And verb of manner, it tells us that how the action has taken place. Like how the action means slow, slowly, fastly. Okay, slowly, fast. Okay, aggressively. Okay. So, it, what it will tell us? It will tell us that how the action has taken place. So, next is adverb of degree. Okay, so now in case of adverb of degree, one minute please. One, two, three. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Hmm. So now, next is adverb of degree. Degree will tell us to how much extent. To how much extent. Okay, so adverb of degree, what it will tell us to how much extent. For example, quite well, right? Or he was rather comfortable, he was rather uncomfortable. So it is telling that how much, okay? I'm really very sorry. Okay, I really felt sorry for that. Okay, I absolutely agree with you. It means to how extent? Absolutely means I completely agree with you. I don't have any other thing to say, right? So in this manner, what is there that you will use? Adverb of degree. Next, we are having adverb of frequency. Adverb of frequency tells how many times? What it tells? How many times? That how many or how number of times that it has taken place, right? So how many number of times it has taken place? For example, twice, thrice, once, okay? Four, four times, five times, okay? So in this manner, it can be there. So next is adverb degree of comparison. When comparison is made, how comparison is made? For example, Though he is hardworking, he is, he is, he is not scoring good marks, okay? Or you can also say in this manner that he is, le he is uh, less hardworking than his friend. So here it is a comparison is made. So when a comparison is made, so then what you will use? You will use adverb, adverb of comparison. So I hope that now, these are revised. What are the different kind of adverbs? Is it clear to you? Yes, class. Is it clear to you? Students are still coming in the class. I don't know why. Yes, that's clear. Okay, clear. So next afterwards, we have to revise about adverbials. But before that, what we have to do, we have to revise about the place of adverbs, where the adverbs are placed. So what is the position? Okay, so next we are revising that where we place the adverbs. So adverb of time, place, manner. Where they are placed, they are placed after the verb. Where they are placed, they are placed after the verb. So where they are placed? They are placed after the verb. Okay. Or sometimes it is also placed after the object. Okay. For example, you have to go now. So this is. Go is verb. So after that verb, it is placed. Sometimes it is also placed after object. For example, I am taking this medicine. Twicely. Okay, so it is object. With object after object we have placed. Okay, and then we have adverb of frequency. Where it is placed? Adverb of frequency. It is placed... So don't take this example, this we will take here. Okay, adverb of frequency, it is placed between subject and 
verb where it is placed it is placed with subject and verb for example she never gets late okay she never gets late for attendance or he often comes at proper time he often comes at proper time so now in this case what is there that what we are using that a verb of frequency it can be placed between the subject as well as the verb so what we have revised that a verb of time place and manner they are placed after the verb and then a verb of frequency they can be placed between the subject as well as between the verb okay so now next afterwards we are coming to adverbials okay what is adverbial what is an adverbial adverbial is not a single word it is doing the work of an of, uh, it is doing the job of adverb but it is not a single word for example suppose i write down he is doing it gracefully he is doing it gracefully so this gracefully is a single word okay but when i have to change it into group of words how we will change we will change he is doing it in a graceful manner so this will be group of words graceful manner so this is an example of adverbial for example he is listening to me he is listening to me politely so how it will be changed it will be changed he is listening to me in a polite manner so what is this this is an adverbial okay you have to change it into group of group of words okay then it will be called as adverbial so this is politely is adverb and this in a polite manner it is adverbial pragati it is clear now yes pragati pragati grower it is clear just tell me now any doubt yes pragati beta you said ma'am i have doubt in adverbials now it is clear yes ma'am now clear okay suppose now you will tell me if i write down here suppose i write down here he fought the battle heroically so this is heroically is what pragati let me unmute you don't mute yourself again and again yes what is this heroically that is verb of manner okay it's adverb okay it's of manner change into adverbial now he fought the battle in a heroic manner he fought the battle in a heroic manner okay for example next one more example my book is here this is adverb of place yes ma'am okay now change please. it to adverbial change it to my adverbial book. my book is change here it can be at this place this is adverbial because it is group of words okay right so at this mom can say my book is here at this place my book is at this place at this okay, place will be adverbial okay at this place will be adverbial so similarly we have different kind of adverbials also for example like we have adverb of time okay 
एडवर्बियल ऑफ टाइम अगेन इट टेल्स अस अबाउट टाइम फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन द मॉर्निंग इन द इवनिंग इन द आफ्टरनून सो दीज आर वॉट दीज आर एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एडवर्बियल देन इज एडवर्बियल ऑफ मैनर how this i have given number of examples for example in a polite manner in a heroic manner you yourself has given the example in a proud manner in a beautiful way okay for example he is doing his job beautifully he is doing his job in a beautiful manner on a in a beautiful way right okay so clear now adverb of manner it is clear next we are having adverb of place adverbial of place sorry adverbial of place like adverbial of place for example here there at this place okay at the door next to door inside the box okay my book is lying inside or my book is lying inside the box you will explain completely then right next we are having adverbial of frequency adverbial of frequency how adverbial of frequency for example how many number of time for example uh, i'm going for my extra class once a week once a week is an adverbial twice a week okay right so these are what these are examples of adverbial of frequency next adverbial of purpose purpose means when you are doing something for a purpose for example i purchase this gift for my father for my father is what it is adverbial of purpose what it is it is adverbial of purpose okay so some purpose is there so in this manner what is there that you will make adverbials it is clear now students tell me it is clear students it is clear yes okay japji is saying fine pragati to you it is also clear ma'am yes ma'am jo hamare ko test mein aaye the adverbial jo linking verbs wo discuss kar do but today we will discuss adverbial what was the adverbial give example tell me you have the test in i don't have right now or i will ma'am one minute okay speak Mam, the first sentence is dash. You can buy a bigger house. The, okay, what what you have filled filled, uh, Kritika? Mam, I had filled since you are rich, you can buy a bigger house. Since you are rich is actually clause, so you can write down with good luck. Okay, right. Second one was. Mam, she has been a boy. He has. Hidden the boy. Hidden the ball. Ma'am, only first one. Me after the box. Hidden the ball in the box. Yes, hidden the ball outside the house. You can write anything else, right? Where cannot be found. Linking words we will do afterwards. Okay, when we will discuss the topic of linking words, right? So now next we are having adverb, adverbial clause. So here, the in case of you can say. adverbial phrase we have only group of words but in case of adverbial clause what we have we have here subject finite verb as well as it should be dependent clause so you must be remembering that when i discuss this topic with you i have made you understand what is clause for example i have beautiful house which is situated on the bank of the river 
I have a beautiful house which is situated on the bank of river. So now in this case, remember that what are there? There are two sentences which are joined with the help of conjunction which, right? Okay. So I have a beautiful house and which is situated on the bank of the river. So now in this case, I have a beautiful house. It is complete in its meaning. It need not to depend on any other sentence or part of sentence in order to complete its meaning. So what is this? This is principal clause. So what is this? This is principal clause. But, but which is situated on the bank of river? What it is? It has to depend upon here. Okay, on the first sentence. Okay, what is situated on the bank of river? It is a house. Okay, and who owns it? I own it. So ultimately, this has to depend upon this sentence in order to complete its meaning. So what is this? This is dependent clause or subordinating clause. Okay, this I want to discuss with you. So what is this? This is dependent clause or this is what we call as subordinating clause. So I told that adverbial clause will be a subordinate clause. It must have a verb. Here it is finite verb is is and it must be dependent upon the principal clause and it must have subordinating conjunction. What is subordinating for example which, who, when, where, because, though these are the example of subordinating conjunction means we, which make the clause to depend upon the other clause in order to complete its meaning. So this is what? This is called as subordinating clause. This is called as subordinating clause. So now we have different examples of subordinating clause. For example, adverbial clause of For example, adverbial clause of time. Again, it tells time, but it must be a sentence which must be a dependent one. Okay. For example, I will submit submit my work when I will when I complete it. Okay. Suppose I will when I complete. So I will sub submit my work. So what is this? This is complete in itself. So this is principal clause, but when I complete it, it is incomplete in its meaning. So this is subordinate clause. It has finite verb also complete. So it is depending upon this. So it is telling us time. So this is adverbial clause of time. Suppose adverbial clause of place. Adverbial clause of place, for example. It, what it tells, it tells us about the place. Okay, for example, I will follow you wherever you go. So now here in this case also, I will follow you is what? I will follow you is the principal clause. And wherever you go, it is dependent. Wherever you go, it is dependent upon here. For the completion of its meaning. Right? So this is what? This is adverbial clause of place. Okay? For example, he has placed the key keys where he cannot be able to find it. So he cannot be able to find it is dependent upon the another main clause with that where he has kept the keys. So similarly, we have adverbial clause of result. For example, the simplest example, we work hard so that we can score good marks. Okay. We earn money so that we can have a 
good life okay we are doing it because we want to finish the work so these are what these are the examples in which we are giving the reason okay so this is why it is adverbial clause of reason next afterwards we are having adverbial clause of uh, you can say condition condition means like when we are putting one can if you do this then this happens okay so this one oh, if wala jo clause hoga the clause with having if part it will be the subordinate clause for example if you work hard you will get good marks okay if you attend the program you will get a lot of knowledge so in this manner here if part it is dependent upon the another clause that is the main clause right so this is adverbial clause of condition next is for example adverbial clause of concession concession means although this is present but still he is not doing for example although he has plenty of resources but he is not doing his work accurately it means that he is not doing his work although he has number of resources so what is this this is example of adverbial clause of concession though he is though he is poor he is doing a lot of charity work it means though he is poor but still he is doing charity work this is what this is con this is concession but here in this case though he is poor this is concession and though is the subordinating conjunction used okay here next is comparison this we have done he is elder than his brother okay so than his brother it is dependent upon he is elder so this is subordinate clause right so i hope that now this topic of adverbials is clear to you all any doubt now you people if have you can ask me any doubt if you have you can ask me yes it is clear okay right okay let me ask now rhythm will tell me how many different type of adverbial clauses are there rhythm you can tell me you will be able to tell or pragati now you can tell me you will be able to speak ma'am i have a doubt yes beta मैम हमने जो एडवर्बियल्स अभी किए हैं उसमें हमने सिर्फ डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज और प्रिंसिपल क्लॉज ही अंडरलाइन करना है यू विल अंडरलाइन डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज कंटेन्स द एडवर्बियल क्लॉज ओके यू विल अंडरलाइन ओनली डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज ठीक है सपोज आई विल राइट डाउन हियर आई हैव रिटर्न आई विल सबमिट माय वर्क व्हेन आई कंप्लीट इट so here what is principal clause i will submit my work this you won't underline you will underline when i complete my work because it is dependent clause right okay yes ma'am now what principal clause ko aapne underline nahi karna hai because principal clause won't be an adverbial clause adverbial clause will always be a subordinating clause right so that's fine students that's fine okay right so i hope that now this topic is clear if you still have any doubt you can ask me afterwards so thank you for uh, today and next we will have the revision of linking verbs as well as complements